Welcome friends to Backyard Offset Smoker Fire Management Series number 16. Can you smoke sausage at zero degrees? Can you run a fire at zero degrees? It's the coldest day in Missouri, or as my wife says, it's the coldest day in misery. But we're here and we're gonna try to smoke some kielbasa sausage that we made over the last couple of days. We're about to fire up the barbecue pit. As you can see, we're somewhere around minus one, zero, and four degrees. This is the coldest I've ever tried to smoke anything. So our fire management technique is going to be a fuel-rich fire, so I don't have to be out here as much as it is cold, but it'll give us the temperatures and the, and the smoke that we need for our smoking. So our pit is set up with the charcoal, the fat daddy charcoal basket. And some hickory splits in there. And we're going to uh, light this thing up. We're gonna be using our propane tank. And our torch here to uh, get it going, but I can tell you, this thing's almost, the hoses are frozen solid. So let's get this fire started. that start drafting and I'm headed back inside because my fingers are frozen our sausage has been in the refrigerator overnight blooming and drying out at this point I'm gonna go ahead and cut the links apart because rather than hanging them today it's uh, the coldest day of the year and I'm having a lot of trouble with the pit. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook these sausages or smoke these sausages on the, the grates. There you go. We got our sausage laid out on our workhorse and we're gonna let the smoke go to work on it. Boy, that thing cools off quick in these temperatures. Welcome back, friends fire has been running uh, really steady here haven't had to do much with it but uh, thought we'd take a look and see what it looks like inside it's been burning about an hour see our coals are just burning their way across the, the flames there going on in so looking good don't want it to get too uh, don't want it to get don't want to get it too hot. You know, you get too much air flowing through there, it'll get hot, but you know, you can see it's just slowly burning its way across the charcoal basket. Alrighty, been adjusting the, uh, the dampers just a little bit here and there, just to kind of keep the temperature in control. I don't want to get it too hot because I don't want to uh, cook the sausage just yet. Don't want to get it too hot and start rendering the fat. Welcome back friends. Our uh, temperature of our sausage is now at 142 degrees. That's about as hot as we want to get it. That means it's cooked inside. It's been spoken probably about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. It is 106, so not a lot of smoke, but uh, it was so cold today. Uh, just didn't have time to really do a lot of cold smoking. But let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Our sausage has a great color on it. I'll bring your camera in here so you can see. It has got a beautiful color on it. We're gonna take the sausage off and we're actually gonna leave it outside here a little bit. Alrighty, 
There you go. We'll try some out later. All righty, this is fire management offset, backyard offset smoker fire management number 16. Closing, uh, we've been cooking for about an hour and a half. Hadn't done a whole lot with the fire, just mostly adjusted the, the heat in the air. But let's take a look at what we got left in our fire box here. Oh wow, we got a lot of coals left. So not sure what we're gonna do. See if we can salvage any of this. But uh, certainly don't need all that. Uh, let me see what I can do with it. But we got enough, we could actually run this pit for a much while longer. Maybe I'll just let it keep the pit warm. All righty, see you on the next one. Before we close, I want to go over our temperature chart. The first thing you will notice is our smoking temperature is higher than a cold smoking temperature. I was worried that the cold outside temperature would not allow a cold smoking fire to get hot enough to fully cook the sausage. Therefore, I ran the pit today using a long burn barbecue technique. As it turned out, the sausage was cooked long before the fire burned down. In the end, I let the fire burn itself out. It was just too cold to be out there working the fire. I hope you enjoyed our backyard offset fire management video today. As you can see, there are many fire management options available for any conditions that may come along. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.